Hi, Prince of Peace. This is Pastor Rachel here in, uh, in guest room studios again tonight. Um, you can probably tell that this video is pre-recorded and not live, but I will try to be online um, from 7 to 7.30 tonight when it goes up online so that we can interact uh, in comments on Facebook and perhaps YouTube if I can figure that out. We'll do our best. Um, tonight, because I'm filming from home, uh, I want to go through the prayer book in the wilderness service for evening prayer for individual use with you. So you can use this at any point um, in your time at home as a way to worship. There's also morning prayer and some other forms of prayer in here. But tonight we're going to do the prayer book in the wilderness, which is available either in your wilderness worship box or on our website, www.popportage.org. You can uh, look at the wilderness worship tab and find the prayer book to download it there. So again, evening prayer for individual use. If you want, you can pause the video, go print that off right now. Um, maybe get yourself a candle. Um, you can light a candle like we're going to do right now um, to help make the space seem um, just a little bit more special, a little sacred, set apart. Um, that's what holy means, is set apart. So set apart a space in your home for worship and for prayer. Um, it can be, you can have some visual symbols like I talked about in my test video yesterday. Um, have a Bible, have a prayer book, and, uh, and get together for that. All right, if you've got your book and you're set and you're ready to go, we're going to go to evening prayer for individual use. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O Giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice, O Lord. I call to you, come to me quickly, hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord. God, in you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. So I'm going to take a little break from our planned Lenten theme um, because I think um, I, I listened to my friend uh, Pastor Seraph uh, did a sermon on Psalm 23 this past Sunday, and I listened to her sermon, and she she um, she said that she likes the Psalms because where other parts of Scripture speak to us, the Psalms often speak for us. And so I thought I'd share a psalm tonight that um, that sort of speaks for me, and I hope um, I think probably for for many of us tonight, as we um, as we're in this shelter in place and and the world is sort of uncertain. So this is Psalm 42. As a deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O God. I thirst for God, for the living God. I say. When will I be able to go and appear in God's presence? I cannot eat. I weep day and night. All day long they say to me, Where is your God? I will remember and weep. For I was once walking along with the great throng to the temple of God, shouting and giving thanks along with the crowd as we celebrated the holy festival. Why are you depressed, O my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God. For I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. Why are you, de <clears throat> excuse me, I am depressed so that I will pray to you while in the region of the upper Jordan, from Hermon, from Mount Mizar. One deep stream calls out to another at the sound of your waterfalls. All your billows and waves overwhelm me. By day the Lord decrees his loyal love, and by night he gives me a song. 
a prayer to the God of my life. I will pray to God, my high ridge. Why do you ignore me? Why must I walk around mourning because my enemies oppress me? My enemy taunt, my enemies' taunts cut me to the bone as they say to me all day long, Where is your God? Why are you depressed, O my soul? Why are you upset? Wait for God. For I will again give thanks to my God for his saving intervention. That line from the second verse, when will I be able to go and appear in God's presence, um, hit home because of how I felt when I had to close the building when I left on Monday. Um, but as I think about it and as we, as we shelter in our homes and um, we get to connect in all of these digital ways, um, we don't actually have to leave God's presence. God is with us. We don't have to go to a particular place to be in God's presence, even though um, the places we do go, like Prince of Peace, like our building, um, are special to us and, and have um, that sense of community we may not be feeling as much right now. Um, we're never far from God's presence. God is always with us. So we can go to God's presence, whether we're in ourselves with our Bibles in our rooms or whether there's, you know, all of us gathered together for a big holy festival. Um, God is with us and we can cling to that no matter how things are going uh, and how we're feeling. We know that God is always with us. Um, God is our refuge and strength, as we've been saying a lot. And so we cling to these words, to these prayers, and we join our voices uh, when we pray them together. So I'm going to flip back into um, our evening prayer for individual use in our prayer book, and we're going to pick up with the gospel canticle. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For you, Lord, have looked with favor on your lowly servant. For from this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you, from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the aid of your servant Israel, to remember the promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. So you'll see, if you're following along in the prayer book, that the prayers are next. And um, the way these prayers are set up are to, to give you sort of um, areas and, and themes to pray, pray on, to think about specifically. So um, since this is going public, what I'll do is just read the the petition, and then leave a little space for everyone to add their own uh, prayers uh, to those. So, let us pray. In peace I pray to you, O Lord. I thank you for the blessings of this day, and I bring before you the world that you so love. Especially I pray for the peace from above and for salvation. For the peace of the whole world. for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all. For the health of the creation, and for abundant harvests that all may share. I pray to you, O Lord, for others in my life, and for all in public service. May the love you have revealed in Jesus Christ comfort, renew, and empower them. Especially, I pray, for public servants, the government, and those who protect us. For those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place. For friends and for family. I pray to you, O Lord, for all who are in any need. As you care for all your children, help me to be an instrument of your peace, justice, and healing. Especially, I pray, for deliverance in time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need. For those who must travel. 
for those who are sick and suffering, for those who are in prison or held captive, for all who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy. Giving thanks for all who have gone before and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, I commend myself and my whole life to you, O Lord. I give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously protected me today. I ask you to forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously to protect me tonight. Into your hands I commend my sp myself, my body, my soul, and all that is mine. Let your holy angels be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. Please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. If you're less familiar with the words, we did include it on the very front page. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us all. Amen.